public outrage and calls for the Prime Minister to resign. Last week, Iceland's premier became the first major casualty of the Panama Papers. I have been willing uh, to uh, put the interests of the people of Iceland first, even when it's at a disadvantage to my own family. The people of Iceland did not agree. More than 26,000 of them signed a petition calling for Gunnlaugsson to resign, following revelations of his financial past. An interim prime minister was appointed, and just days later, the government survived a vote of no confidence, and its parliament survived another motion for it to dissolve. All this in one week. The revelations have shaken up Icelandic politics. Power and money corrupts, and the parliamentarians have not been capable of uh, uh, doing their work when it comes to listening to what the nation wants. Birgitta Jon's daughter, WikiLeaks supporter and leader of the Pirate Party. The group was already gaining ground before the Panama Papers scandal. It gained three seats in Parliament in Iceland's last elections. And now public opinion for the anti-establishment organization is gaining traction. A poll conducted after the Panama leak showed that 43% of Icelanders support the Pirate Party. But who is the party that now finds itself at the forefront of Icelandic politics? The libertarian movement began in Sweden in 2006 before spreading to over 40 countries. The party campaigns for transparency and responsibility in politics, freedom of information and direct democracy. Policies that are far removed from those of the ruling coalition government. With elections brought forward to autumn, by the end of this year, Iceland's political future could look very different. Francis Collings, The Newsmakers.